Blessings fam and welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl Rochelle here. I uplift, encourage, and I inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share and please don't forget to subscribe. Let's dig in. Listen, God is always listening. So often we believe that God has simply forgotten about us. There are some prayers that I know I've prayed and I said, God, do you hear me? Do you know what I've asked you for several times? Quite a few times. And it seems like God hasn't granted my petition yet. But we know that God is always listening because God works in perfect timing. We feel like when God doesn't answer us as swiftly as we think he should, we feel like, oh, that's just another prayer that God hasn't answered. Or maybe God didn't hear me. God didn't hear me because then I have to repeatedly ask him for the same thing over and over. No, God hears you. But God answers at the appropriate, proper, and the perfect time. God works in perfect timing. No one else works Work as perfect as your heavenly father does. We have to trust and believe that God hears you. He's listening. God knows our every struggle, our every trial. He knows our every cry. He knows all about our troubles, our difficulties, those circumstances that are unbearable. He knows. God is all-knowing. We must remain faithful in knowing that he's all-knowing. God knows all about us. He knows the numbers of hair that's on each and every one of our heads. He's our creator, our author and finisher. He's the beginning and the end. So if anybody knows what we're in need of, if anyone knows our heart's desire, it's our heavenly father. God knew we all would face many, many trials in our lives. God knew that we would endure many struggles and God was sure that each and every one of us would make some wrong, wrong decisions in our lives. That's why he chose the cross. God chose the cross for you and I because he knew what we needed before we even knew. Before we were even born, God knew all about each and every one of us. And God knows our trials, our troubles, and our test. He knows all about that. He's listening. He see. He's all knowing. God is always listening and God is all knowing. God knows about each and every one of us. Our day-to-day -day struggles, our difficulties, our trials, everything that we have to face because God knows. He knows all about us. So never ever Doubt that God isn't listening. God hears. He knows all. But God's timing is perfect. That was my last video. We must trust God's timing. Because God doesn't operate on our time. We all know that. Or if you did believe that, I'm here to declare to you that you're wasting your time. Because God works in perfect timing and no one else's time is as great and perfect as your heavenly father. Don't ever doubt that God has forgotten about you or he's not listening. God hears your every cry. He knows your every struggle, the troubles that you face in your day to day, those difficult problems that you have to endure. Your heavenly father knows all about it, but we have to trust and believe. That God's timing is perfect. God hears and he knows. And God answers in perfect timing. Listen, I want to read with you all from my daily devotion. Listen at what God says. God says, don't always assume I'm not there or don't care when troubles and trials come your way. God says, don't assume that I don't care about you. I'm listening. I see and I know. But my timing is perfect. 
Know that I use the good and the bad to bring about my perfect plans for your life. See, that's the good thing about God. God used the good as well as the bad. But often all we want to do, we want to talk about the good. We want God to answer in the good times. We don't want we don't, we don't want to hear about the troubles and the trials that we have to endure, those many tests that we would have to face in our lives. But God used the good as well as the bad. Because if we don't have a test, how can we give a testimony to anyone else to ensure them that they can make it, that they will make it through? See, God uses the good and the bad in our lives to show us that we are overcomers, that we are victorious, that we are indeed warriors, that we can persevere through every difficult test that we face, but we have to remain faithful and trust in God's timing and not want God to hastily answer our prayers because we can't endure those hard tests or those difficult situations that we have to go through. Because there will be many. Just know <laughs> there will be many throughout your day to day, throughout your life. But God hears, God sees, and God knows. God is always, always listening. Listen at what God says. He says, know that I use the good and the bad to bring about my perfect plans in your life, but trust that I know what I'm doing. Now we must, we must know that God knows more than anyone else what's best for us. That's the problem. A lot of us think we know what's best for us, but God knows all what's best for us. That's our heavenly father, our creator, our Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher. So who knows what's best for us more than our Heavenly Father knows? He says, listen, he says, no matter how dire your situation, because we know we have some situations that my God almost kills us at times, suffering loss, suffering great trials and tests, betrayal, rejection, broken hearts, going through so many difficulties in our day-to-day, -day, divorce, separation from a loved one, difficulties in our family. There are so many struggles in our day-to-day, -day, but God says no matter how dire the situation, know that I know what I'm doing and I know what's best for you. I'm listening and I'm all knowing, but just because I haven't answered yet doesn't mean I've forgotten about you. I love you and I'm working all things out perfectly for your good. He says, I hear your cries. God hears your cries. I hear your cries, he says, every one of them. And I will answer you when the moment is perfectly right. God says when the moment is perfectly right, not when you want him to answer, not when I want him to answer, but when the timing is perfectly right. That was in my last video. God's timing is perfect. God's timing is the best timing. We know that. So we have to trust and believe that God know what he's doing. And just because we don't want to endure pain and hardship, trials and troubles, test. We must know that God's timing is perfect. And he answers perfectly. God hears our cries. He's always listening. Listen, he says, I will move but not until the moment is right. That's what God says. He says, rest in my grace and continue to walk firmly by faith. Walk firmly by faith and not by your temporary, by what you see right now. God says, trust 
and believe in my timing, that my timing is perfect. Walk by faith and not by sight because I'm always listening. I'm all knowing. Trust in my word and believe that I know what I'm doing. I want to encourage you to trust in God's timing because God is always listening. God is all knowing. He knows all about the troubles, the trials, the tests, the difficulties that you're going through right now. But you must trust and believe in your heavenly father that he's working all things out together for your good. Because God is always listening, even when it seems like he's not answering as swiftly as you think he should. Your heavenly father knows the perfect time to answer your prayers, to grant your petition. God says, trust in me, believe in my word. Look at the scripture. In Jonah 2 and 2, it says, I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble, and he answered me. But God only answers in his perfect timing. Don't be confused. Don't believe the lies of the enemy that God has forgotten about you, that he's not going to answer your prayer. No, God does everything and perfect timing, but you must remain faithful and trust and believe that God works in perfect timing and he hears your every cry. He knows your every trouble, your problems, your difficulties, those circumstances that seems like they're unbearable. God knows all about it, but trust and believe that God is always listening. He hears you, but he'll answer in his perfect timing. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This has been Inspirational Cafe. Remember, God is always listening. Trust in his timing. I love you all so very much. Until next time, be blessed. Love you all.